Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem 43 of chapter 5. The boom is intended to support two vertical rows, F1 and F2. If the cable CB can sustain a maximum load of 1500 Newton before it fails, determine the critical loads if F1 is twice as F2. Also, what is the magnitude of the maximum reaction at pin A? So I've added a step A to this problem because it's important to have a game plan before you write all the equation and plugging the numbers in your calculator to see how you're going to approach the problem. So the game plan is pretty simple. We need to draw the free body diagram. A good free body diagram, including all the forces and moments, is half of the problem. Then write a moment equation about point A. If you write a moment equation about point A, the only unknown would be F1. And F1 and F2, there's a relation between the two, so we can find them. Then, if you write a moment, if you write fourth equation along X, we can find AX, one of the reaction forces at A. And then, if you write a fourth equation uh, along Y, we can find AY. So, that's basically the first step of the problem. Now, let's do what we said we are going to do. We are going to draw a free body diagram. So a free by diagram, I'm just going to write it under this here, AX and AY. If you know the direction, you can uh, draw it in that direction. Otherwise, you can draw your reaction forces in positive X and Y. And if you find a negative value, that means that the direction that you assumed is incorrect. So we have F2 and we have F1. Again, there are not two unknowns because they are related. So for F1, we know it's twice as F2. And then we have a tension here, which we have the dimensions or the directions in terms of the dimension of the triangle, three, four, five. So it, that means that it's gonna have a horizontal component and a vertical component. And both components are gonna create a moment about point A. So the first step was to write a moment equation about point A, it's equilibrium, so it's equal to zero. We need to have a positive sign here, counterclockwise or positive Z is considered positive. So we have force F1 and F2, F1 is going to create a clockwise, so negative F2, uh, clockwise also negative tension in T is going to have two component the Y component which would be 3 over 5 T and the X component or the horizontal component which would be 4 over 5 T and both of them are gonna have a counterclockwise moment create a counterclockwise moment about point A so both of them are gonna be positive so the moment arm for the vertical component would be 2.5 cosine 30 this angle is 30 degrees so 2.5 cosine 30 and the moment arm for the horizontal component would be 2.5 sine 30. So having all the forces and dimensions, I'm gonna go ahead and write my moment equation. So first F1, which is 2F2. It's negative because it's gonna create a negative moment. The moment R for F1 is this dimension which here is 1.5 meter, so that would be 1.5 cosine 30. Then I have my fourth F2. Here is 2.5 cosine 30. Then the tension, which I have the magnitude is 1500. 3 over 5 will give me the vertical component multiplied by the moment r, which would be 2.5 cosine 30. Plus 
plus 1500 4 over 5 the horizontal component or the component along x and 2.5 sine 30 would be the moment r equals 0 that means that f2 that's the only unknown that I have would be 725 newts and we know f1 is twice f2 so that would be 1450 newt so we found f1 and f2 if you want to find the reaction forces ax and ay we just write summation of forces in x equals zero i have ax minus 4 over 5 the horizontal component of my tension which is 1500 equal zero therefore ax would be 1200 newton summation of forces in y equals zero i have a y minus f1 and f2 so f2 725 f1 1450 equals zero so a y is 1275 newt so all the reaction forces that i found are positive that means that the direction that i assumed is correct so the question was asking for a y a x f2 f1 and we found all the unknowns so remember here we did not have four unknowns f1 and f2 there is a relation between the two if we had four unknowns we could not solve this problem because we only have three equilibrium equations 